there, I am Gepwin. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. Let's relax. We're most of the way through summer now. We just chopped a bunch of wood, so first thing we're gonna do today is go get our house upgraded. We're gonna get that started. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. How are the spirits? Tell me of the spirits! Good fortune! Good fortune today! So we're gonna get our house upgraded. Then we're gonna go to the mines. So it has been written. It's good fortune. Oh, and melons. Melons are coming up. Look at that. Look at the melons coming up. And we've got some corn and hops to sell. Corn and hops. We just upgraded our farming again. We're at level 6 for farming. Upgraded hardwood fences, which are fences that we can build and will not degrade. Which is just great. There's that. And we also unlocked these sprinklers. Quality sprinklers. Quality sprinklers will water all the way around everything. So we're going to set up some like corn and stuff next time. Uh, where am I going? Right, I was refilling this can. I really want these wood floors for that area. I think they'll look better than what we got. Alright, give me this corn. Stop all this. Stop with the weird... Like, it keeps doing the blade when I'm not touching the mouse. I don't know why. The blades seem to, like, be weirdly broken that way. Yeah, on some kind of weird delay like that. Uh, Alright, how's the mushrooms? Yep, more mushrooms. I do like it. This counts as foraging, right? I hope so. I hope so. That place up top is not open until 9 that place up top. <laughs> the uh, building upgrade site. Let's give her those. I would like to be able to go sell these boots and things. That's why I've been holding on to them, because I keep meaning to drop by the Adventurers Guild and sell them. There we are, we can get rid of that now. That's been in the way for a while. 44 hardwood, it's not bad, not bad at all. Got a lot of iron, I do need to upgrade my pick very soon, but you know, good fortune. Good fortune today, seems like a good day to try to make some mines, mine progress. As soon as we get up here. Oops, I need to bring wood, right? Need to bring the wood. Gotta bring it with you, it's not enough to just have it here on the farm. So we only need 450, so. There we go, 450. I don't want to bring more than I need and have to, you know, carry wood around with me. Don't want to have to do that. I wonder if I can sell those sprinklers anywhere. Can you sell the sprinklers? Alright. Give me this grape. More foraging progress. Gotten so many books. Oh, hello. I was hoping you'd be here, Linus. Let me give you this. Give him... Or, what? No, I haven't. Oh, it was trying to give him two. It was a great gift. Thank you. I have not come to ridicule me. I have not come to ridicule you, Linus. I like you. You may teach me how to make bait later, but that's not why I'm trying to be friends with you. You're fun. You're a fun outsider, dude. Oh, come on. What's going on? Why can't we, um... Shop's closed for the day. Ah, oh, Athletics Club. This shop stinks. This is the worst shop. Alright, I suppose I'll have to go deal with that tomorrow. Let's go to the mines. We're here. We're here. When does this place close? How long is this place open? Let's see. Because it doesn't open until late. Opens from 2 to 10. So if we can get out of the mines before 10 p.m., we can go sell stuff. Alright, let's hit the next level. Hit the next level. It's exciting. Go 
Go away, you fat. The next level of everything, including bats. It's not actually the next level of bats. These are the same bats we've been having. I just saw one and wanted to say it because it was there. You know, when you see a thing, you just want to say, like, car, road, house, wall. We're still at the gold level. I feel like we've been at the gold level for quite a while. I'd like to only try to get down five, maybe. We were able to get down ten last time. It was nice. I liked it, but... Not getting as much, you know, interesting stuff right now. It'd be nice if I could upgrade my pickaxe a bit more. If I get a chance, like, I think if I go down to the next five levels and we have time, I should try to go back up to somewhere there's iron ore. Getting all this gold is great. I'm glad we're getting gold. I'll be able to upgrade my tools to gold really easily. But I've got several tools that I still need to upgrade to the iron versions, and yeah, we don't have enough iron for that because we've been down in the gold layers so long. Oh, Omni Geode, I'm glad about that. I like that. Fat! Fat! There we go, got you. Oof, expanded critical range is great. Oh, there's some copper down there. I need that. Ooh, look at all these minerals. Let's do a grab a lot of those and that mushroom, because that counts as foraging. Also, here's some copper, which is pretty unusual at this level. I do need that. Come on, you bat. More gems. Topaz. Look at all this gold. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Gold! So much gold, so much of it. Already 30. We had so much gold in this mine. So much gold in this mine, it's amazing. We already found the way down. This is the main level. Actually, yeah, I'm already almost out of energy, so you know what? Let's get my extra hundred energy, eat this sweet bun. Let's go up to something in, say, level 50. This should be where, where there should be a lot of iron. Easy to kill these slimes, too. There should be a decent amount of iron around here. Yeah, there's some. And I don't really care that much about making progress. I care about getting iron. So we'll just uh, try to find iron and copper nodes as many as we can. Get up our stock. Shouldn't be too threatening at this levels. And then if it starts getting too close to 9 and I won't be able to get to the Adventurer's Guild, we'll head out. Go. It's already a decent amount of iron. And sap. And ghosts. Yes, I need more essences. And wood, in fact. Essences are always good. Oops. I think I might try to do all the, like, things tomorrow. I'll get a bunch of this... I'll get out of here soon. Get all this iron smelted up. Wow. Nothing. 
get like artifacts and clay and stuff here sometimes. Yeah, even cave carrots are worth it. Alright, get back up to the top, get this iron smelted, sell some stuff. Then tomorrow, I can see if I can upgrade my pickaxe, which is something that I've needed to do for quite a while. Go upgrade my house. Alright, I'm not finding a way down here, and I'm almost out of energy, so... We got 14 more ore. And you know what, if I get one more ore... Come on. There was some ore. If I get one more ore, that's like a clean three bars. Though I might have some back at home, so I guess I shouldn't try too hard on this. Okay, come on. Yeah, leave the mine. The blacksmith closes at four, so can't do that. Can't blacksmith. Hello, you. Like to sell those things? How's our list? Send a lot of slimes, void spirits. Need more of those. More bats. More skeletons. We're probably the closest on the skeletons and the cave insects. In fact, if I wasn't so low on energy, I'd go kill some cave insects, because... Well, let's see. You know what? Let's go to level 10. I need to smelt some stuff, but if I can... You know, just come in here and get a few cave insects. I'm running very low on bait. You know what? These are good. Let's just eat one. I can get more stuff. More stuff like this. Hopefully, and there's a lot of copper, and I need that. Don't even see the cave insects. We're on the right level for them, that's why there's all this foliage. Rocks help too. There we go. You gotta run through the old sections sometime to get your copper and stuff up. And your stone. Huh. Where are all the bugs? Really felt like there'd be more cave insects here. Stones. I'm going to need more of those, too. No, well, there's one. Just needed more bug meat. This is very weird. I kill a ton of slimes. Obviously very easy with my sword. I swore there might be more insects here. I, I came here specifically looking for the insects, because... You know, just... Thought I could just kill a ton of things. Oh, there we go. Get a bunch of bug meat. Wasn't that many. Hmm. Oh well, 1020, let's head back home before it gets too late. Getting down five levels in these early stages is easy now. Let's head back, smelt up some stuff. I should have more than enough gold to be able to upgrade my house and my pickaxe. Sell this, sell some of this stuff, like, and sell these amethysts, this cave carrot, scrape this mushroom, a lot of other stuff I need to store for materials. Yep. Like, oh, I can sell the topaz. Oh, I got some bug meat in there. It is something that I don't want to sell too much of. And I've got several geodes. A lot of gold. 
Let's get rid of this topaz and that. So sell these these gems. Go on gem hunting. Go on gem hunting that's you a lot of gold. I mean, I guess like you'd expect. Well, I guess I don't have uh, any iron left here. I thought I would have. Darn. One more iron would have been nice. We've got so much gold, though. Wow, that's insane how much more common gold is than iron. <laughs> we got just as much gold ore as copper ore going through those. Just as much gold ore as copper ore. Well, I've got my foraging up and I've got my strength up, so you know what? Let's go... See about clearing out a little bit more of the trees and things. Because I want to. And another geode. Wow. Okay, getting late. Getting late, so we gotta drop off. Gotta get all that. It's time for bed. Foraging level up, new crafting recipe, lightning rod, lightning rod, lightning rod. We got a lightning, lightning rod, yes. Yes, lightning rods. It's all that I wanted, it's all that I want. That's all I ever needed. It's here. In my eyes. Clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Love is never... is very unnecessary. Something's very unnecessary. Good fortune today. Queen of Sauce rerun. What we got? Baked fish. I already know baked fish. I already know baked fish. The channel with the spirits... tailors their broadcast to me. Directly, directly to me with the spirits who are being nice to me. Or not, some days. But often, today they are. Today they're being very nice to me. But Queen of Sauce, Queen of Sauce does not tailor her programming directly to me. And hence, I will often relearn recipes which I already know. unfortunate. Now I have an unupgraded hoe. I actually do need more copper too. Because I have some unupgraded tools. Oop, what is that going to be? Stones! Excuse me. I love you too. Nope, not yet. I'm gonna replace this with a cobblestone path coming in here. This here needs to be a cobblestone path. Nothing else to do with it. Also, I just got some stuff so I should sell these. Sell them hops! Drop off the gold. Drop off the stones. Got my several geodes. Do need to wait till nine, right? So many big rocks. Look at these big rocks here. Mm, it's a shame. Shame I can't get rid of them yet. It's a Wednesday. You know what? Something that I need to look at. Iron quartz and bat wings. Well, I've been getting a lot of bat wings. The iron is something that I could work on. Not gonna be able to for a little bit though, because you know, we're gonna go upgrade our pickaxe. Glad I got our foraging up though. Glad we got our foraging up. I 
we're starting to decorate. This is the most I've decorated my farm, like ever. Give me more of that copper. Why not? Why not? It's not like I'm trying to do too much here. There we go. Give me that. I need to remake my tree area, but I'm getting like the sap and stuff that I need right now, so it's okay. Ooh, look at all these. Look at all these. Grapes, spice berries. Wonderful. Wonderful. Love it. I love it. You better not be closed today. You were gone all day yesterday. You're a very inconvenient store owner. Yes, I do need something built. I want to upgrade my house. Yes. Get started. It'll be finished in around three days. And we'll have an upgraded house. It's going to be wonderful. Now then, let's head over to the mines. And take the train over to the blacksmith. Then we'll go down to the beach. I may as well talk to you. Hey, you. Want a grape? I have. Oh, well, that counted as one. Great gift, thank you. Don't know you well enough to trust you, sorry. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you don't. Oh, that's sad. I need to talk to Lioness more. I like him. We're gonna take this quick route. Take this quick route to town. And dig through the trash a little bit. Yep, nothing much here. So, first things first, process geodes, because you can't do it after I tell you to upgrade my tools. I think we have one of those. Thunder egg. Okay, rocks, and I think we have one of those too. Yeah, didn't we? Yeah, display, display, got both of those. Throwing to legend, angry thunder spirits would throw these stones at one another. That's really interesting. All right, let's upgrade some tools. Steel pickaxe. See, copper hoe. I still haven't even upgraded my hoe at all. But steel pickaxe. I want to get all of my tools up to steel at least. As soon as I'm done with fall. Oh, wait. I already checked. We don't need. You know what? Let's see what some of these books are about. We got a lot of books here. So, what's this one? It's a book missing. It's a book missing. What's this one? On foraging. Like, read all these though. There we go. Technology report. Blue frames for bats out of the crystallarium have recently been published. This machine grows crystals from almost nothing. Find the owners with any with endless supplies of valuable gems. Here's how it works Place the gem of your choice inside the crystallarium. Be patient. It can take several days. Eventually, a crystal will grow a copy of whatever you placed inside. You know, it's ready when it stops wiggling. Once you move the gem, it will start over. You'll never need to restock it unless you want to change the kind of gem it produces. Doesn't work with rare gems known as primitive shards. So let's talk about a like thing we can get. Now, what's there we go. Fisherman Act 1. How do you catch so many fish? It takes forever. You must make a choice to become a true fisherman over time your fishing speed will increase. So you're saying to improve my fishing skill and make fish faster. Yes, one day you may even learn the secret to catching your very own bobblers, improving your mastery. To crafting your own bobbers. There we go. All right, so we read that. Good. Now we've got all these books up here. What's these? Let's see. How deep do the mines go? A question I've been pondering since so many in Stardew Valley. It was weird as no one really knows, or at least they aren't telling anyone. Many of those adventure deep into the mines never return. Many of you bold adventures job deep enough have resurfaced with interesting reports. There are three distinct areas in the mines, each with unique monsters and treasures. Some advice speak of gigantic underground lakes and strange creatures, but none of these claims have been proven. Farmer's Journal. Been here for years now. I've started to make friends with the local townspeople. Sure feels great. They're sending me gifts and secret family recipes in the mail. Really helpful. Trying to make friends. Scarecrows. When you start growing a lot of crops, if we visited by crows in the morning, you might discover the crow has made breakfast of your hard work. One way to present the father from crows is meeting across some scarecrows near your crops. Be aware that scarecrows have a limited range, so you need multiple if your farm is large. Scarecrows keep track of how many crows they've diverted, so you can use that to tell if you're in a useful spot. Collectible scarecrows aren't just for lurks, they work the same as the regular model. So many books! Star drops! People have been intrigued by the mysterious power of the star drop. No one knows where they come from. Professor RJ. 
Coulter, a leading researcher on strange fruit, says we've discovered traces of genetic material on meteorites that resemble star drops. It's not proof doesn't prove much, regardless of where they come from. Particular fruit is said to be uncommonly delicious. Some even claim the grant special powers to those who eat them. Journey of the Prairie King, the smash hit video game. Do you know anyone who beats Journey of the Prairie King? Automatically entered into a drawing for a special prize. Developers stated that the protagonist is based on a real-life character, true cowboy hero from a prairie island on the Gem Sea. Study on diamond yields. Research in the mine, I believe, learned something about diamond frequency. Research involved the stones that are scattered about the mines. Ones that are broken with a pickaxe, mineral yields from other sources. Diamonds seem to only form at mine level 50 or greater. Level 50, approximately 1 in 500 stones, will be a diamond. And after level 50, the frequency of diamond formation will increase to about 0. 0.0000.16 per level. Quite a rare gem. Found a lot of diamonds. Brewmaster's Guide, rich smell of yeast wafting through a cedar loft. Floral overtones of fresh cut hops and winter's eve, but I digress. You are probably more interested in the practical side of brewing. To brew, you will need a keg. Leave up to you to devise the brew tanks for a keg. Kegs can be made of several kinds of product. If vegetables are placed inside, the kegs will produce juice. Juice takes the least amount of time to brew. If wheat is placed inside, it will produce beer. Beer takes a while to brew, but it's said to be quite profitable. Placing hops in the keg will produce the beloved pale ale. Place fruit in the keg to make wine. Wine takes the least amount of all to make. Wines are made from the finest fruits are worth quite a bit. Be patient with your keg. You know it's finished when it's okay to drink in moderation. Or you'll surely regret it. Mystery of the Dwarves. Dwarves call themselves Shemulun, which translates to sky people, an odd name for a group that lives underground. Another mystery of the Dwarves is the advanced technology they supposedly possess. Evidence such as this led me to do, despite the ridiculousness of my colleagues, from a new theory, I believe the dwarves, the remnants of a once ancient civilization whose interplanetary vehicle crashed on this planet long ago. Proposed that dwarvish spaceship pour down deep underground over time, the dwarves became adapted to their new underground environment. Why didn't they come above ground and live on the surface? Perhaps their old planet had a thicker atmosphere that protected them from stellar radiation and could not survive in our sunlight. And explain why they only surface at night to take what they need from our houses. What else we got? Highlights from the Book of Yaba. Before time, there was only the endless golden light. The light called itself Yaba. Or Yoba. Yoba wanted more. Yoba swirled the golden light in the vortex. Yoba swirled and swirled until the hole formed in the eye of the vortex. From this hole sprung a seed. Yoba smoothed the golden light. Yoba smooth and smooth, and the light became soil. Into the soil, Yoba planted the seed. The seed sprouted, and behold, a vine sprung skyward, scooping and proging, casting a rustling shadow into the ground, into the golden void. After eleven days, the vine bore fruit. Yoba, with the knowing wisdom, peeled the thought skin off the fruit, saw that the world was inside. So the world was grown off of a vine. Cool. Marriage guide for farmers. I have to date them for a while. Ask someone to date you with a bouquet from Pierre's. I'm ready to pop the big question. We'll need to give them a mermaid's pendant. Everyone knows what it means when you present them with one of those. It's rumored on the stormy days. The ghost of an old mare appears in Stardew Valley. Charging Jude and such a clenching, such a pendant. Alright, fine. That's how you get married. We knew that, kinda. Fisherman Act 2. Tell me about this fishing story, Gordy. I've caught a lot of fish and play. They've gig fish in my time, some are very rare and difficult. It's one I struggled to catch for three days and three nights. I call this fish the legend, it was a huge beast. The harder I tugged on the line, the harder it tugged back. Let my guard down for a moment and slapped my boat in two, never fished since. Think any will ever catch him? It's a person the master at fishing caught all the other rare fish and made sure that they ate the correct kind of food, then maybe above all you'd be able to have respect for the water, son. What do you mean? Your father? Yes, my boy. Dramatic music. <laughs> oh, there, there's your son. Hello, you. You're all reading. So Penny says I should read things before I play. Okay, fine. Don't have school. Yeah, I know. You're doing your best. You're doing your best. There's still I don't know, the kids. Can't can't give you anything, right? Don't have anything to donate. Better get it there and hunt. Yes, I should. I do want to hunt more things. Oh, hello, you. The side, decorated your house at all? Yes, I have. I've decorated my house a lot. 
spent so much time reading. It's noon. It feels like we've been playing for an hour. But we got all the books read. Now when we find new books, we should go do more of that. It's satisfying to follow your crops from seed to harvest. It is fairly satisfying, yes. I would agree with that assessment. Hello, seagulls. Hello, seagulls. Here's some things. An oyster and a mussel. What else we got? Got some shells and sticks today. Shells and sticks. I'll take some bait for my rod today. I think there's not going to be anything interesting to catch unless it's in the rain. It hasn't rained recently. The summer rain. Hello, you. What do you got? Ledge, lead bobber adds weight. Makes the fish catch more secure, causing the fish bar to cling to the catch. Works best on slow, weak fish. Or at least one of those. And a cork bobber to slightly increase the size of my bar. So I don't want this one yet. I only want that one if I think I'm going to be catching something difficult. But it's not raining yet, so I don't think I'm going to be catching anything difficult. So I'll increase the size of my bar for now. Let's just do a teeny bit of fishing. Why not? Our pickaxe is in the shop. Let's go uh, grab this treasure. It does really increase the size of your bar. Look at that. It's like a third of the thing now. Just a tilapia, but yeah, yeah, coal. Coal's not bad. Coal's not bad at all. Why don't he make the cork bobber? Not entirely sure. I'm thinking about it. Can I make the cork bobber? Is that one that I can make? Wood, hard, wood, and slime. That's actually the cheap one of the cheaper ones. So that's something I should think about, since it's one of the cheaper ones. Come now. Nope. Come on. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And more tilapia. Seaweed. I'm not gonna get a puffer fish, am I? I think I can only catch those in the morning, anyway. Huh. I'm just doing this to get a bit of the money back. We spent a lot today. I need to start saving up since we're in kind of the last five days of the season. Because I'm gonna need... Gonna need a lot of money ready for the first day of fall so we can buy a bunch of crops. Thank you, Red Mullet. Thank you, Red Mullet. Alright, let's get one more. That's a CD, that doesn't count. Let's get one more, maybe we can go talk to a few people. See if we can make friends. Most of the people in the town don't know us or kind of despise us a little bit, so. Always nice to get the treasure chests. Wood. I should make a treasure bobber. Last longer than stone fence. Last longer than wood fence. Most durable type of fence. Allows you to pass through a fence. The stone fence looks nice. Like I don't know how long it lasts, but we'll see. Where or oh where? Oh, those bobbers. There we go. Treasure bobber, gold bars. Well, you know what? I was thinking that'd be too expensive, but... We have a lot of gold bars. We're getting, like, more gold bars than almost anything else. Yeah, sea urchin. Thank you. Need one of them. 
Definitely need a sea urchin. Soggy newspaper is wonderful. Does almost everyone like me? No, so many people don't really like me. I need to make more of an effort to make friends in this town. Sheesh. Hello, Mayor. Moonlight jellies will be here soon. That sounds fun. I talked to you already today. You're not home. Don't know where anybody is, ever. Trouts. Cool. I'm just gonna fish. Every spare minute I get, I'm fishing right now. I do you like the fishing in this game? It's actually one of my favorite parts. Like, the Iridium Rod was the first max tool I got. I mean, partially it's because you can just buy it, but still. Oh, a lost book! And an Earth Crystal. The library's closed, though, so we can't read it yet. That's pretty cool. We got the lost book. Eh, look out of the way. Out of the way, you all. Let's go over here. So, no shop right now, but I can head over here. See about getting some more hardwood and maybe fiddleheads. Exactly to get rid of, is there? I mean, soggy newspapers. I think this guy has something. Old Master Cannot still searching for the sweet taste. I think I can catch a thing here that I need. Get rid of the soggy newspaper. On the CD. Um, and this one's seed. No. What did I pick up? Fiddleheads, come on. That fill head's gonna be ooh, a gold one. That's nice. I need to collect a lot of heart. Whoa, what happened? Is this nighttime? All of a sudden, things changed, and I don't know why. Oh well, that was an odd light transition. I was enjoying the music in there, though. It's some of my favorite video game music, honestly. It's pretty relaxing in there. Oh good, more honey. I need to sell a ton of things right now. Yeah, so we got this foraging stuff, all these fish, these like extra mineral things that I got, these oysters. Gotta put this stick in the recycler. Gotta grab this bait for the rod, there we go. Gotta sell this honey. Let's 
sell all that honey. Put all this stuff away. Let's go stop by the saloon. It's night. Everyone's at the saloon. One of these days I need to do the Prairie King thing. That should be its own episode though. It takes so long to do that Prairie King. Soon as uh as soon as my luck's all the way up, should do one. Now, let's see here. Hello, you. Can't talk to you. Too young to be moping. I'm not moping. Hello. Welcome here. Doesn't rain much, does it? Hello, Clint. I need to give you some stuff. I need to do some stuff for you, Clint. You're like... Being unfriendly. I haven't made friends with you yet. Don't have time to chat. like, I don't know, gone. I don't know where everybody's at at night. I'm trying to chat with people more. I'm making the effort to try to chat with everyone. But, don't know where they're at. Did I water all the crops today? I can't remember if I watered the crops today. <laughs> Pretty sure I did. Let's go check. Hello there, little lightning bug. Yeah, I did. That's that's the wet. Yep. I did water the crops. Good. What? Right. Give me some stone. I got 500 stones. Got 500 stones. I want more cobblestones. Apparently I'm going to need hardwood fences, because... They're not going to wear out, and these ones are. Alright, there's a torch there, that's why I can't put a stone there. Come on, thing. Give me that. And that torch. I'm gonna need to move some of this stuff because it's kind of right where I wanted to build things. I didn't, you know, have a good enough plan for that yet. But it's starting to work. Starting to work out. This stuff's lit up a little bit. Now then, let's come down here a little. I need to figure this out with wood. I need to figure this out with the wood. Eh. I can make more of this. I wish I could turn this back into wood. Oh well. It's midnight. Done a lot of stuff today. Guess it's time to turn in call it an episode. Three thousand gold off of today, wow. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. Working on the house, getting our pickaxes and stuff upgraded. So, not sure what we're going to do for the next episode, but then at the end of that episode we're getting our pickaxe, and at the beginning of the next episode we're getting an upgraded house and a kitchen, and we can do a lot of stuff with that. I hope. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, social medias, all the stuff in the description of the video. And if you really enjoyed, you can do that too, I guess. I mixed up my outros, I'm sorry. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Gepwin. I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.